Sports Unplugged. Big Mad. You can follow him on Twitter at Big Mad. Instagram, same thing, bro. Yep. I'm Big Mad everywhere. All right. Follow me on uh, Twitter at Leon Rogers. Same thing for Instagram. And of course, follow our show at Sports Unplugged on Twitter and subscribe to the page. On YouTube, Sports Unplugged, Sports Unplugged 312, actually. Sports oh. Unplugged 312. Sports Unplugged 312, okay. For YouTube. Uh, NBA playoffs. Yeah. They're moving right along. Yeah, they are. Bulls giving everybody heart attacks. Some surprises to me in the NBA playoffs. Because you couldn't tell me a couple of weeks ago after the first two games between Indiana and Atlanta that Atlanta wasn't going to get swept. Uh, me neither. Uh, I mean, here, here's, here's okay. Hold on. Here's the funny part. Raise your hand if you've actually seen the game. Yeah, I've, I've watched. You, I have. I've watched both the, for the blowout games. Really? And I've watched. I've. Seen it, it's my thing. I, I was like, where are the games at? Uh, like, have, like, they get, fool you. They throw them on NBA TV. They put them you, on NBA. You got to find them. <laughs> they put Atlanta, and Indiana on NBA TV, but su- surprisingly, like the last two games have been good games. Yeah. And the home teams are holding court. The, the, here's the problem. This is what I. This is what I mean about Indiana. This is what confuses me about them so bad. They have the talent. They have the talent they and should, the puncher's chance they should to not. beat a team like Miami. Miami. But the problem is they don't know how to win. And they don't have that guy who imposes his will on the other team to lead them to victory. They're hoping that Paul George can turn into that. And I, and, and, and I, and I hope he can because mm-hmm. Danny Granger didn't get it. Nope. He and, he'll be, and he'll be gone But when gone you talk about second. teams like a, a, a Carmelo in New York, New York may not be a great team overall, mm-hmm. but they have that guy with six minutes left. We ain't losing this game, dog. If I got to shoot every damn shot and drop buckets, we going home with this W. And the last two games, the home teams have held court. court. Right. Indiana looked terrible game three. Yeah. They just looked horrible. Right. They just look like a young and dumb team mm-hmm. that whose coach can't get them over the top. Right. Fourth game, Atlanta had to tough it out. Right. But Atlanta gritted their teeth and won. Now, I got a feeling Indiana's going to go back home, get a win, and then eventually close it's probably, it out. Yeah, it's probably going to go seven games. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. But Indiana, there's no way they should be going seven. With Atlanta. Atlanta. I don't think so. No way. Not at all. Go to the Nets and the Bulls. Are, and are, if, oh, go ahead. If I'm a Bulls fan. I want Atlanta to win. It no, actually doesn't matter to me because we have to get through Miami if we get past New Jersey. We don't. We're not. We see Miami. Next. Oh, you have to play Miami. Period. Yes. So they don't do. No, nope, they don't do that. They stop that. They stop that. Okay. So we see Miami next. Well, regardless. It doesn't matter. Okay. Right. Right. So it don't matter. But but, and even with the uh, the, the Boston New York series, Boston won that game, but they almost lost it to New York. I'm not worried about. And it. I'm not. No, but I'm saying what I mean about teams that know yeah. how to win. Yeah. Teams that. Uh, they just don't have it. J.R. Smith is coming back. And, and he said, and, and, if I wasn't on that couch, that series would be done. Yeah, it had been over. It would have been over. It would have been completely over. The Knicks in five. Okay. That's over. That, what, tonight, I believe? That's Houston, over tonight. Houston, Oklahoma City. Is there a difference now that Westbrook is out? Does Houston no, 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 have a chance oh, no, no. to get another victory? Uh, uh, go they, 3-2. Can they go 3-2? Maybe, but they're not winning the series. Doesn't, so it doesn't can really they matter. take them seven? No. It's ending in five or six. Yeah, because they mean, might be able to steal another S- one. Serge Ibaka gets a little lift on a putback. They back in, in overtime. They're not winning. And they're not, and they're, and they're not, mm, turn, right? not winning overtime. <laughs> they're not winning overtime. No, KD ain't gonna have that. Nope. But I, I just think because KD. Because uh, the thing is, when Westbrook went out, my concern. You know, we all wanted to see what's what's KD gonna do. Then KD has put that team on his shoulder. And, see, and I think James Harden can match him point for point. No, not for, not point for point. Why not? I don't think he will. I don't think he can. Why not? He's not. He's really? not. He's, no, he's not. You don't think James Harden not point for point could score if if KD drops forty, James mm-hmm. can't have thirty five. He can imagine point for point if Westbrook's out there. Yes, but when it's just when it's Kevin Durant leading his team, no, he ain't. Because the reason why I say that because the the defense of the Thunder is a whole lot better than the defense of, of the Houston Rockets. But it changes dramatically without that athletic point guy that puts a lot That's, of pressure no, I, on the I, ball. I, I, I understand you, you, that. You, you, I, I think KD is going to carry this team. You like Reggie? Because think you about like it. Jackson over. Cause, you know what I'm saying? The games they won, Harden had 15 points, 4 20 shooting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Harden hadn't been playing that well in this series. He's been playing all right. Not that great. 
KD what? has a 41 point game, 38 point game. No, Harden's not matching him point for point. It's not going to happen. He might have he might have one big game. Well, he gets but off. yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. But Ashik's been playing well. Huh? Ashik, 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 He's been playing well. You know, and every single time I see him play like that, it kind of gives me a bad feeling in my stomach because I don't. Didn't want, you didn't want to pay him all that money. I understand. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. But but, but I will say this: you're not. You don't no, act like we're not missing him. Joking? No, wouldn't have plantar fasciitis nope. if he was still here. I can tell you that right now because he had a lot of time off his feet. He'd have, been, he'd have been sitting down. Chilling in a lot of games instead of playing 48 minutes. Mm-mm. Let's talk about the Bulls in Brooklyn. Okay. I think the Bulls should have closed it out. They had a chance. I'm going to tell you something, man. It's going to be a problem. I, 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 told, I told somebody, I'm like, look, this doesn't sound crazy because the Bulls are up 3-1. But this next game, <laughs> as, as, this is but right now, the Bulls don't win that game. They might not they win the series. In trouble. Because I, I literally said this is they have to win. They have to beat them and close them out. You give this team a chance to come back because here's the thing: we know the Nets can beat the Bulls oh, yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, you know it's possible because Nate Robinson had to play Superman. Yes. and out of his mind, yes. well, not out of his mind, but because he can do that. Yes. <laughs> but do what he did on Saturday right. for them to win that game in o- three overtimes. In three overtimes. So we know the Nets can beat the Bulls and beat them badly yep. at home, okay? And it feels it almost feels like they've kind of figured out the defense. Yep. So seeing that and then having the injuries that we have. That's what I was going to say. Seeing Lou, and, and Lou all not giving us nothing. We, he, dog, we went three overtimes. And Lou all had his basic 15 and 7. Super quiet. Super quiet. That's amazing to me. I t- I've told Everybody's numbers were crazy that game except for Lou all. Listen, listen. I, the the Bulls missed Kirk Heinrich. Oh, that was that was definitely his defense on Deron Williams. He's been frustrating them. They missed Kirk Heinrich because even right even in a three overtime game when Deron went for thirty some points, he took a lot of shots and they weren't easy shots. Exactly. He was playing against Nate Robinson. He can pull up whenever the heck he exactly. felt like it. But with Kirk gets in your pocket, a lot of people get mad at Kirk. But I'm like, yo, he's always been forced to guard guys bigger than him. Mm-hmm. He's always, and he's, he's always, always been scrappy. He always been scrappy. But that that's my thing. You're a mash unit. As right. a team. You're a mash unit. Plantar arthritis with Kirk's been battling the elbow injury. Lou yep, Dang's right. not a hundred percent. Right. Boozer's probably the healthiest guy on the floor, Nate Robinson. Mm-hmm. And Boozer's been your most consistent in the You playoffs. need to go to Boozer against the Nets. I'm I'm not I'm not a big fan of seeing but all Reggie. these all these Bulls fans were the same the same and I and I, when I talk to them, I'm quick to remind them. You all were the same assholes. That uh, Boozer sucks. I was like, Boozer is what, what he, he is. is. And he's always going to be. And when that. he goes, and, and look, when and you, he's done that consistently. When, when you go, when Boozer goes up against a lineup like the Nets, he always plays well. He gets off. His issue is when he goes up against some tall, lanky dudes. He Abosh, can't, he can't do nothing Marcus with Marcus Aldridge. He can't do nothing with them. Nothing. And he can't, and he definitely can't guard them. So, heck, Reggie Evans has had a double double a few times this series. And that's just, that, yeah. that should never happen. So, here's the thing the Bulls, you don't want to see game seven. No. You better, you better win this game tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Please believe that. In Brooklyn, because they'll come back you, here and they'll and they'll get that. No, 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 no. It, it, the game, the next I mean, game is here. Team, right. You don't want to go back to Brooklyn and play game you seven. Close them you you got to close them out because you go to game seven. I'm picking the Nets in game seven. I'm picking the Nets in game seven because I just think at the end of the day they have the stars that down the street. Brook Lopez has been doing whatever he wants to do this season. Well, I guess people don't realize, but Brook Lopez had been playing this well for most of the season. This no, year. but but what I'm saying is, if Deron they could play, could pe- if Deron, uh, Deron Williams can piece, to, can piece together two back-to-back games where he plays solid, the Bulls would have been gone. Mm-hmm. He's been spotty. Gerald Wallace is a proverbial no-show. He's their Lou all day. Actually, Gerald Wallace has been hitting threes all of a sudden. And when he started hitting threes, <laughs> I was like, because I'm like, don't charge at him. He's, he's all right. And Joe like, Johnson got- waits till late in the game like, to get it going. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> I feel like showing up now. Hey, Lou, floater. I feel like showing up now. Floater, Lou, right over the top, Lou all dang floater. Right. Um. So, like I said, Bulls need to end this game in six. If they don't end this game, if they don't end it in six, which I think they can, they can beat them in six. Nets are going to win it in seven. The Nets are going to run off three on the Bulls. And regardless, you know, Miami's just sitting and waiting. 
They're the, the I don't care what nobody said. They, you, know, you know, the Bulls can no. No. The, no. I think Miami might sweep the Bulls. But you have delusional people that really yeah, think they yeah, look no, at the regular no, season. I no, go, no, 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 no. The, the Bulls will get swept a by Miami. A healthy Miami team. Nothing's wrong with them. Give D-Wade some time to rest. And rest? Week. Mm-mm. It's not gonna happen. Either one of them, the Bulls or the Nets, get through. They're getting ran through by by, by the Miami Heat. Oh yeah, they're gonna get served. Let's go to the West uh, Western Conference. Denver and Golden State. One the, of the most entertaining playoff series I've this seen. This series long time. and the Bulls series with the Nets are the best series of the playoffs. Even though the Nets and Brooklyn is more of a mutter, drag out, yeah. bar fight. This is the exact and opposite. Indy five hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steph Curry has put on a show. I, this Listen. is this is the Steph Curry that you saw when he was at Davidson in in, in the in the uh, tournament when he went off when he off. for like three straight games. This is this is what he's doing. This I'm is what about, he does. He listen, loves the postseason. I'm gonna say it, best shooter in the history of the NBA. It's hard for me to say that just because it's so early in his career. But it, when when Mark Jackson well, he's said, better than his daddy. Yeah, he's better, yeah, he's better than his dad. When that man and in, in Game Four, I believe, took that corner shot and turned around before, and ran before the, before ball, the ball even hit the the net. It was at the highest peak of his art where he turned around, started running down the other way. Who do you think is the best shooter in the NBA? Right now? In the history. In the history of the NBA? Just a shooter, not three-point shooter, te- you know, technically? Just a shooter? And I score a shooter. A shooter? You got Larry Bird. You got Reggie Miller. You got Ray Allen. You got um. You got even guys like Mark Price. You know, you have, like, guys just shooter, like Craig Hodges. These guys didn't now, miss. Now, I'm going to tell you. You now go Walt, you, what is it, Walt this Frazier? Was, this, is why I'm Walt Frazier. this is why I'm gonna eliminate some of the people from your list. All right. Larry Bird was a great shooter. Mm-hmm. I get right. Reggie Miller. I know it was an ugly really, it was he, an ugly he, shot. But could could any of them out of out of those you named, even Mark Price, mm-hmm. how many of them could Steve make Nash. Their shots off the dribble like Curry? He they gets can't. They, free it's amazing. And he lets them go. You re- I listen. I saw a video, and I missed it in the game. They were playing San Antonio. He made Gary Neal look like an asshole. <laughs> he comes to down right side of the court, real slow dribble, in and out dribbles. Gary Neal spins, puts the ball through his leg, like he's going right, and then step backs and goes left. Puts about six feet of space between him and Gary. And Gary Neal was so faked out, he just he just stood there <laughs> and waited till like, go and shoot it, man. And dude let it go and pow, all net. I said, there are not too many. Sh- even Ray, a- Ray Allen doesn't even get his shot off no. like that. Coming off the screen, great. Rip Hamilton, same way, coming off the screen. He, he, Bird, spot up. Right. Mark, no, 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 Price, no. Mark Price was a guy who could dribble you. And, 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 and shoot. Pop. Here's the thing. When he was coming out of Davidson, my concern for him, first of all, he was, he was small, slur- not as fast. Yeah. But the thing is, this man has turned into a point guard. And, and another thing is, him ha- his handles. It's sick. I didn't know his handles would get this good because he, he didn't handle the ball like that in college. I swear to God. And him you- shooting off the dribble is amazing. When you get a chance, you sitting right Still here. Still wouldn't pay him max money because of his ankles. Just go to YouTube and type in Steph Curry fakes Gary Neal. I mean, he Who do you made think, the dude nah, nah, look let me, like let me, a high school basketball. Let me ask you a question, uh, so we can get out of here. Uh, the um, that series, who wins that series? Denver's gonna come back and win. It. You think they're gonna come back and win it? Yeah, they're gonna come back and win it. And I like uh, Clippers and Memphis, which Memphis is, is which is actually put, a pretty Memphis, good series. Memphis is gonna, gonna put the Clippers out now because a guy like Blake Griffin with a high ankle sprain that severely limits his game. Yeah, he's an explosive guy, likes to get up and down the court. I got and now, you. And Debo, Zebo, and Paul Gasol might be the beat, best four or five in the in combination in the NBA. Beat him to death. Now, here's the thing, and this is what I've always said. Because of the Westbrook injury, which was, like, if you want to call it Bush League, you can call it Bush League or how Patrick Beverly played that, whatever. You know, he's hurt. He's out. I don't say it was Bush League. It was tough defense. You know. Physical. And you really can't Play say that because because Westbrook does that all the damn time. Playoff basketball. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to hear nothing about that. So, you know, Westbrook is out. Here's the thing. They wanted to see the Clippers in that next round. Cause, cause you, Memphis, you don't. Memphis, Memphis is put. I'm saying this right now. <laughs> Memphis, Memphis come. Them. Memphis comes out of that uh, oh, that yeah, series. Because, Memphis is putting OKC, OKC out because they don't have any size. They Kendrick put, Perkins, Kendrick they Perkins, put, and Serge Ibaka cannot deal with Gasol. No, and Zebo down. Low. Not too skilled big men. No, no. Because Zebo's a goon. And and Gasol's a goon. We haven't touched on this, you know, San Antonio sweeping the Lakers. We're going to talk about the Lakers a little yeah. bit later about what the heck's going to go you, on with that did team. You, did you think anything, guys? I mean, Bye-bye, they, Dwight. Leave, Dwight. 
If you're smart, you know what to do. Leave. We'll talk about it next. Sports Unplugged.